what the money supply is, quite simply, it's a measure of all of the money that is out there in circulation. So paper money, uh, coins, things that are easily convertible to cash, money in money markets, so on and so forth. Ever since we came off the gold standard, the Fed is responsible for printing money and putting money into circulation. When the government borrows money, they have to monetize the debt. So in order for money to go into the Treasury General account, debt has to be sold. Well, it it can come in in one other way, which is tax revenue. That's really the only way the government makes money. The only way that uh, the only other way that the government gets money is that they borrow it. So when they borrow it, they have to issue debt. So the Fed assists them in doing that. The Fed Uh, prints money, puts it into circulation. They put an entry on their balance sheet that says, um, you know, they have an asset that's the, the, uh, the bonds that they're buying, and then they have a liability. That's the money that they put out into the Treasury general account, and then the, the Treasury spends that money. If you look at a chart of the money supply and how it's trended, what you see is that it kind of rocked along for a good bit, and then right around 2008-ish, and if you remember what happened in 2008-ish, it was the, the banking crisis, the Fed, we went into a decades-long um, period of free money. So when the financial crisis happened, the Fed ended up dropping interest rates to almost 0%. That meant that it was it was very efficient for companies to borrow money rather than you know using their own money. They're going to use the free money um, as leverage. They're going to put that into their business. They're going to make money off of that and really have very little cost to pay it back. Same thing with the government. So you really see this spike in uh, the money supply as that happened from 2008 on to 20, roughly 2014, where it kind of leveled out for a while until COVID. When COVID happened, there was an injection of about $5 trillion of COVID stimulus into the market. So you see the money money supply spike up there. So what happens is, when it's simple supply and demand, when you have more uh, dollars chasing the same or as in the situation with COVID, fewer goods, you get an increase in prices, right? So you only have so many goods available, but now everybody has more money to compete for that same amount of goods. So you see inflation. So what needs to happen is that some of this money needs to come out of circulation. So what that's going to mean for the government is that they got to quit spending money because they've seen fewer and fewer buyers. The Fed is in a, a process now of quantitative tightening, which means that rather than buying debt from the government all of the time, now they're letting that debt roll off. So when those bonds come due, they're not buying more, or at least that's what they're saying that they're going to do. So, you know, that's the the um, decrease in money supply that you're hearing about. And I think it's a positive thing. It's going to hopefully put some things back into correction. 